Okay, so I've connected up my modem to my radio. Up here I have a remote control from my antenna. So that's a tuner. I have a magnetic loop antenna which is very sensitive to temperature changes and things like that. So I have to make sure I'm able to tune it when I go to transmit. I checked this out. I'm on the monitor here and I see something that I thought was let's see we are on monitor I thought was some type of connection or somebody out there with PSK 31 I looked at it looks like a carrier and then I realized it's actually a piece of equipment in my house interfering with HF so I'll have to deal with that I'm currently connected using Bluetooth and I'm on the 20 meter band. I'm actually dialed up for the frequency. I'm going to monitor it for a little while. And make sure there's no transmissions going. I did hear somebody <clears throat> a little bit further over making a connection attempt, so I want to give them a chance. I'll briefly talk about some of the settings here. So with the Yesu, uh, something that wasn't really well documented was you want to get this set up the level set up through WinLink and there's some specific settings that I did find in some documentation for the Yesu 857. Basically these, the Amplitudes FSK and the PSK, I went with their recommended settings and the 857 is very similar to the 897. So I went with that. One of the things that I do need to adjust is the digital gain. So what I'm doing is when I run this radio I adjust this digital gain so the ALC is almost just it's non-existent because if I start seeing ALC that means that my signal is being modified and it's going to really screw up my connection. With different bands I have some slightly different adjustments and that has to do with my antenna being uh, harder to tune on certain bands like the 10 meter band I have a little more SWR so more SWR results in a little bit more ALC so I have to turn this down. I'm running at 50 watts so as I increase wattage the ALC jumps down. If I decrease wattage I have to actually change the digital gain some more. I've noticed that that's been a common thing even with the signal link down here. So here's the signal link that this modem replaced. I have it turned on but I don't need it on. I'll turn it off. That used to be connected to my computer that's right over here and it's no longer this none of this is connected so my radio and the modem the only connection is through Bluetooth so there's less interference from the radio to my laptop and I could walk around with my laptop so I've been listening I don't hear anything I'm gonna go ahead and make a connection attempt so we'll turn up the volume a little bit be sure that there's nobody that I'm going to squash and connect and so it's instant connection there so this modem is far more efficient than Winmore uh, one of the other things that absolutely surprised me was the fact that this also will handle packet. So on the VHF and UHF modes, I have a packet modem as well. So that's another piece of equipment right here that I can get rid of. I had this for packet usage. It's serial based. Now I'm no longer connected to my computer. So it's a lot more um, simpler. So I have one piece of equipment that I connect everything to and I don't have to mess around with different configurations. So that's something nice when I'm out in areas where I have less connectivity, say up in the mountains somewhere. So here we are. XC2BMC is a station in Tijuana and I'm connecting to that station and I'm receiving three emails right now.
And this thing is absolutely fast. I would have had issues connecting with my Winmore sound card. And I'm not willing to wait for RDOP. And that right now is slightly available, but it's a whole bunch of hoops to jump through to get it to work with Winlink. So it's a pretty fast connection. My first attempt at using this was on the 40 meter band, and I heard nothing from the other station, but this actually did connect to the other station, and I exchanged emails without even hearing the other station. So, I mean, it pulled it, that data out of the sound floor. So it's incredible. I could not believe it. The only thing that I have a little bit of difficulty with or understanding is that I do have a GPS connection in the back of this, but there isn't any communication method from Winlink to connect to my modem to capture the GPS location. So in order for me to post my location, I actually have to disconnect my GPS from the back of this and connect it to my computer with a serial to USB cable. And I'm using a very old GPS from a long time ago. So that's just the one I want to use. There are other ones that I could use with uh, USB cable and I might do that but that's um, that's not a high priority for me at this point. So there are a few errors, but it seems to be handling them very well. It's in Pactora 3 modem mode. And it's done. So transmission was completed. I received three emails. There's the identification. And we're good. Turn that off. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, post them here.